A what to do about late ambulances and a shortage of paramedics in Fort Wayne. That's what City Council's pondering tonight. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Brian McElhack. And I'm Krista Miller. We heard it on the radios all night. Staffing shortages are forcing county ambulances to pick up the slack. What's the solution? Carly Van Cleve is back from the City Council meeting with that. Carly. Council members are putting pressure on trial leaders, hoping to give their paramedics some relief tonight while also reducing response times. But leaders with the ambulance authority say it's going to take time to implement any of those solutions. It's hard to get something to eat. It's hard to do anything. You know, you're constantly behind on charts. You're constantly getting off late. Paramedics and EMTs with Three Rivers Ambulance Authority asking city council for help. We're not complaining about mm -mm. taking care of our patients. Not at all. Our only complaint is how many that we take care of. We wish that it was divided up. Leaders from TRA and the local union recognizing the problem. Overtime mandatory work and uh, lack of staff, uh, but we're persevering and we're hoping that some of the solutions we're bringing to the table and pushing uh, are going to solve that in the near term. Here's what they've come up with. Implementing a tiered system. That means prioritizing their advanced life support units for life-threatening emergencies only and using basic life support units for other responses. Not every ambulance or every ambulance call requires a paramedic unit. So we're trying to give some relief to our current paramedic staff who are overworked by being able to better utilize basic staff to take some of the workload off the paramedics. And perhaps the most obvious thing that needs to happen, hiring more paramedics. We needed somebody that wasn't our own voice to speak out for us. Council members question trial leaders as to whether they're working hard enough on recruitment. I've met with the contractor. The board is absolutely 100% as am I behind the medics and doing whatever we can. I know it hasn't necessarily been portrayed that way. Among the changes they're looking into, increasing pay and better benefits. We want to make sure that we do it right. We also want to make sure that we have everything in place. So we'll work through it as quickly as we can to get that relief. The council also wants to know whether management is listening properly to paramedic concerns. So Councilwoman Sharon Tucker suggested hiring an outside consultant to step in. The council will check back in with TRA in four to six weeks to evaluate their progress.